In today's video, we're going to be talking about using the precious metals as a form of financial preparation. And I'm also going to be reviewing a cool little gadget that I found online. I really like it, and something tells me you will too. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great, and staying safe. It's a great day to have a great day. Today, I wanted to talk about stacking silver and also gold as a form of prepping to hopefully combat a variety of different circumstances. We're going to get into it, but really quick, just in case you're new. Make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there. Go check it out. The link will be in the description. And if you want to get some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel, I would really, really, really appreciate it. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. But today is Saturday, June 5th, 2021. As I'm posting the video, it's actually Thursday, June 3rd, as I'm filming the video. So I don't know what spot price is by the time this video comes out. But as I'm recording it, silver is $27.09. It's down over a dollar. And gold is $18.65.50, which means it's down over 40 bucks. And the gold to silver ratio is fluctuating in the 67 to 68 to 1 range. Head on down to the comments and let me know the date and time you're viewing the video and what the current spot price is for you. I'm always curious. So today I wanted to talk about using the silver and the gold as a form of prepping. Now oftentimes when I talk about prepping or when other people talk about prepping, you really can't help but to get into the doom and the gloom. You really can't help but to start thinking about or talking about all these terrible, horrible, disastrous situations that could come your way. But I try to take a step away from that and I try to be a little bit more realistic. I try to be a little bit more logical and that's the direction that I want to take today's video. So there are two main things that I'm using the silver and gold to prep for. One is on a much smaller scale something a little bit more micro, and the other is something much more macro, something much more large scale, something that would happen to not just me directly, but to essentially everybody. And I think it's important to prepare. I think it's important to stay ready so you don't gotta get ready. I think it's important to have something, even if you don't need it, than to need something and not have it. So first things first, I'm going to break the video up into two separate parts and I'm going to split it right down the middle with a product review, which I think is actually pretty cool. I'm going to save that for a little bit later in the video. First things first, I want to talk about the micro. I want to talk about something much more small scale, something more anecdotal, something that would just affect me, something that might not phase you, might not phase my friends, my family, my neighbors, or anything like that, me specifically. And that would be using the silver and gold as somewhat of a physical at-home savings account or potentially an emergency fund. Now, first things first, in the event of an emergency, I would prefer not to have to dip into the silver. That's why I'm stacking a little bit of cash. But I think it's important to have in the back of your head that your silver is there for you if and when you absolutely needed it. Now, if I ever needed to liquidate, if something really went wrong and my cash position was not sufficient enough to take care of whatever needs to be taken care of, unfortunately, I would have absolutely no choice but to dip into the silver a little bit. But mark my words, I would write it down. I would make a contract with myself because it's a loan. How much silver am I loaning myself? How much silver do I owe myself? And guess what? I'll add interest. If I have to take 10 ounces of silver and liquidate because I really need to cash, guess what? I'm putting back 11 ounces of silver. No ifs, ands, or buts. So what really led me to this a couple of years ago, I was thinking that anything could happen. You might think in 2021 that job security exists. I really hate to be the one to tell you this, but 
That's actually not true. It's an urban legend. It's not real. Anything could happen. We see time and time and time again, even quote-unquote essential workers have been getting thrown under the bus by their departments, by their jobs, by their bosses, so on and so forth. Like I said, I don't want to get into the doom and the gloom, but the reality of the situation is anything could happen. You could have the best job in the world and still get laid off. Your job could still potentially get shut down. We just saw everything that took place last year in 2020, but I've been doing this since before 2020 because I knew something could happen. Did I know everything that took place in 2020 was going to happen? Absolutely not. That caught me off guard, but guess what? I was a whole lot better off last year than most other people. I was a whole lot better off last year than 99%, I would say. And guess what? It's not just from a financial perspective. It's from a variety of different perspectives. I have all types of prepping equipment. I've been food prepping for several years now, almost as long as I've been stacking silver for. And I've been stacking silver for three and a half years. Other forms of prepping as well. I have a water purification unit. I have a bunch of stuff. I have a backup source of almost everything. But the silver and gold, in a weird way, I view as a backup source when it comes to my finances. If currency gets tight, if I get laid off of work, if something happens, maybe I get into a car accident. Emergency car repair that I can't afford. Maybe a medical expense. Maybe I get hurt at work. I don't exactly have the safest job in the world. I could get hurt at work any day. So what happens if something goes wrong and my cash position isn't enough? If I absolutely needed to, I can dip into my precious metals, I can liquidate a small portion, and I can cover whatever needs to be covered. So when I say micro, when I say small scale, that's what I'm referring to. Personal financial hardships. Now moving away from the micro, I want to talk about the macro. But before we can even get into the macro, Okay, so right now I wanted to do a quick little product review because I found something pretty interesting on Amazon, something that only cost me $4.55. It's this right here, a little waterproof match container. And what's cool about this is it's actually three in one. Not only is it a match container, but it has the flint rod right there on the bottom, like the matches, and if you were to open up the cap on the inside, it has a little mirror, so that can come in handy. So you can store your matches right inside, or something else that I found, that this is pretty much the perfect fit, some of you may remember, I have reviewed these little compressed paper towels or toilet paper tablets, whatever you want to call them. Look at this right here. Perfect fit. Incredible. So, not only does it fit these little toilet paper tablets, but it would appear that you can probably fit six of them in there. At least five, but it looks like you should be able to fit six. And not only can this store matches, not only can it store little compressed paper towels, but since this is a channel talking about money and also currency from time to time, if you need to roll up a little bit of fiat and you want to keep it protected in a waterproof container, boom, once again, perfect fit. And guess what? There's room for matches right there in the middle if that's what you need to do. So not only can this little match container hold matches, perfect fit for compressed paper towels, a little bit of currency, the biggest question is, is it actually waterproof as advertised? Well, we can figure that out right now. I'm going to do a waterproof test, as I always do whenever I get myself a product that is supposedly waterproof. So I'll take this little napkin right here, perfectly dry. I'll roll it up. And I'll fit it inside. Just like that. It has this little O-ring seal 
right there. And then we can take a little bowl of water. Boom. There we go. There we go. Should probably be good enough. Let me dry my hands so it doesn't look like the napkin got wet from the bowl of water. Perfectly dry, minus a couple drops from my slightly wet hands. So it works. I will include an Amazon affiliate link in the description if anybody wants one. Only $4.55, and if you don't like the bright orange color, I do because it's easy to see. It's also available in army green. Link in the description. So I hope you guys liked the little product review. I know it was kind of strange to just splice it in there, but kind of a refreshing change of pace. Show you guys something new I found and something that I think is actually pretty useful, something that I think is uh, pretty nifty. And I'm happy I got it. But moving away from that, now I want to talk about the macro. Stacking silver and gold for financial preparation purposes not when it comes to the personal financial hardships, but when it comes to something much more large scale. Something that would affect more than just me. More than just me and you. More than just me, you, and him and her over there. Something that would affect essentially everyone. It would affect the poor people. It would affect the rich people. It would affect the middle class. It'll affect me, you, him, her. It'll affect everybody. And what is that? Inflation. Again, I don't want to get into the doom and the gloom, and I don't want to reiterate what I talk about in other videos, but inflation is inevitable. Some people argue, like, oh, you're, they're raising the interest rate. It doesn't matter. Inflation will always be a thing, even when inflation isn't going up at an alarming rate, even when it's slowly, slowly, gradually moving along. It's still happening. The more dollar bills they print, the weaker my dollars become, the weaker your dollars become. So the silver and gold is a method of financially preparing yourself to combat inflation because the precious metals, similar to a variety of other assets out there, I don't care if it's a business, I don't care if it's stocks, I don't care if it's real estate, they're all viewed as a store of value. Do some perform better than others at certain times? Yes. If one goes up, does that mean they're all going to go up? Not necessarily. Oftentimes they follow the same trends. But if one goes up, in theory, one other one could go down a little bit. But guess what? They all do a whole lot better and all stand a far better chance than the dollar bill. Because what is the dollar bill backed by? Gold? Not anymore, not for a very long time. What's it backed by now? No one really knows. Some say oil, I say debt. I think the dollar bill is backed by debt. Now some people think debt is a bad thing, and it can be, it could be a horrible thing. It could also be a fantastic thing. It depends on if you're the one that's in debt or if someone's in debt to you, if someone owes you money or if it's the good kind of debt, aka borrowing someone's money to invest in an asset that produces cash flow that you can use to pay back the person you owe money to. That's a story for a different video. Debt, what most people think of when they hear debt is potentially medical debt, student loan debt, a mortgage, and if it's a house that they're just simply living in and not utilizing for anything other than shelter, it's more of a liability than an asset. So most people think of debt as a bad thing. Most people have a bad or negative or toxic relationship with debt. Most people. But the silver and gold is almost like trading debt, debt notes, 
for wealth. Real true honest money. Internationally recognizes money, biblically recognizes money, constitutionally recognizes money. Real true honest money. Anywhere you go, it's money. Anywhere you go, it's recognized. Anywhere you go, it's desired. Because guess what? Silver and gold, there's a global demand. Silver and gold have a variety of different uses. Gold, most notably, jewelry. Gold is oftentimes viewed as a symbol of royalty, a symbol of wealth. Gold is the top dog between the two metals. Silver, on the other hand, it is a precious metal, but it's equally an industrial metal. It has over 10,000 different uses. It's the greatest conductor of both heat and electricity. It's the most reflective metal that exists. It's used in batteries, cars, photography, medicine, the list goes on. Silverware, jewelry, so on and so forth. Silver is used everywhere. It has 10,000 different jobs. Silver's not going anywhere. Neither is gold. So what I like to do is take my debt notes, my dollar bills, and convert them into silver and gold because I see them as a store of value. Now, this isn't financial advice. I'm not telling you what to do. Nothing on this channel has ever been financial advice because guess what? I'm not a financial advisor. Do your own research, form your own opinions, make your own decisions based off your conclusions, not mine. But the conclusion that I came to was that the silver and the gold, being that I see them as a store of value, they probably do a far better job combating inflation than the dollar bill. And why do I say that? It's because inflation impacts nothing but the dollar bill. See, a lot of people have this misconception that inflation, when the prices of everything begin to go up, they think it's the price of everything going up. But that's actually not the case. It's actually the value of the dollar bill going down. Nothing changes value except for the dollar bill. So that's what I'm talking about when I say large scale. That's what I'm talking about when I say the macro, something that would impact and affect everyone, some more than others, obviously. But there's no escaping inflation, unfortunately. I mean, last year alone, they printed 20% of the currency to ever exist just last year, just in 2020. How mind-blowing is that? The dollar bill has been around longer than any of us and 20 percent of the dollars were created just in the last 365 days that's absurd that's horrifying i'm gonna be honest with you so i want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know what are your thoughts on everything shared in today's video and when it comes to financial preparation is that how you see the precious metals and if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my own terms. Not on YouTube's terms. My terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller and easier to manage. I'm posting exclusive VIP-only adventure vlogs. I also do giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shoutouts, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a variety of different websites. And of course, you can watch all of my videos early and commercial free. Come join the Precious Metals VIP Club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to hit that subscribe button like a Karen hits a bus window. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Bunch of brand new videos over there. I posted one about China banning cryptocurrency, one about AT&T cutting its dividend, other videos about real estate, videos about silver, videos about gold, and a bunch of others. Go check them out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit 3,000 subscribers. We just hit 2,000, and I appreciate that. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs. 
along with a ton of other products, t-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, such as the recently released Kraken Stacken t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug, inspired by the beautiful two ounce silver Kraken coin, which by the way is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations at no additional cost to you, it comes out of my pocket, not yours. And of course, last but not least, the brand new DYDSS Karen Free Zone t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug. My name is not Karen. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance, it's more than appreciated. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know once again. Number one, what are your thoughts on the waterproof match container that I discovered and did a quick little review today? Don't forget the link will be in the description if you want to check it out. Only $4.55. I'll be getting another one. But more importantly, when it comes to using the precious metals as a form of financial preparation... Which is more important to you? Preparing yourself for the micro, aka personal financial hardships, maybe potentially getting sick or getting hurt, getting laid off of work, short term? Or are you more concerned with the macro, the large scale financial disaster that is inflation? Some people even think that the dollar bill is going to collapse any day now. I personally don't think so. I personally hope not. Like I said, I don't like to subscribe to that whole doom and gloom mindset. But you gotta stay rational, you gotta stay logical, you gotta keep your head on a swivel, you gotta keep your eyes on absolutely everything, all of the markets, everything going on, you gotta pay attention to the news, you gotta pay attention to the economy, you gotta pay attention to the numbers, the charts, and the graphs. Pay attention to everything. You can stay multiple steps ahead of the curve by doing that, and it could be very, very rewarding. But I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.